Hello, and welcome to Midwest Horizons, also known as the uh, New Holland Feed Yard. Now today, we're expanding out this field finally, because, uh, well, it's been really cold and really wet all winter, and we never got around to it. So we're going to do it today, get everything plowed up that needs to be plowed up, get the rocks picked that need to be picked and then we're gonna get to planting because it's already march and uh yeah things need to be planted like now so, yeah we're we're, we're kind of behind the eight ball on this one. Oh yeah and we gotta spread lime too oh i'm not ready for how busy today is gonna be Man, I am glad that I went and I bought this bigger plow. We are just flying through this. I do kind of have it set up to where we can go fast, but still, it just takes up so much room and just plows so much ground. Oh, I am in love. Why why didn't I, why didn't I buy you before? I I don't know. I I didn't know they had it. But we do and i'll take it happily i think i found my uh new plow of choice at least for big jobs that is that was what four five passes we got 90 percent of this knocked out that's getting some work done which we need to do because it's gonna be a really busy day i'll be honest i thought the uh ground was gonna be need to like was gonna need to have just a little bit more work done to it to make it not so hilly and bumpy and everything else nope it, it'll work i think i think it uh, i don't i don't see why it won't but it's not like i've always been right I've, I've i've been wrong more times than i've been right that's for dang sure that little piece by the road took like one and a quarter passes I was going to plow this whole field, but eh, it doesn't need it. And I really don't want to take the hit to uh, my score. So yeah, we're just, we're, we're just not going to do that. Oh, that's come on. Come on. Let me go. Let me go. Come on. Dig through, dig through. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Whew. I just, I, I, I probably should have just came over here and backed in and drop this off because i don't know where else to put it i'm going to be 100 percent honest all right let's get you uh, get you unhooked there we go there we go all right now go jump in the uh 7r go get the rocks picked uh lime all of our fields that still need limed because i think actually i think all that needs limed is uh well our soybean fields actually no no just our soybean fields but yeah this actually shouldn't take too terribly long one thing that i know will not take very long is rock picking because uh you guys can't tell yeah this one's a little bit enhanced you know has, has has that enhanced realism vibe going on you guys want to know how wet our winter was um the guy has a little bit of standing water in his field and it's going over the road yeah i if it wasn't for the, how wet the winter was i definitely would have been able to get into the field and have all this done so that way we don't have to kind of rush and use the equipment that we're using but yeah i kind of need to use this equipment so that way we can actually get things done today and i don't know about you guys but i am extremely surprised with the lack of rocks that we are getting out of everything that we've plowed up and rock picked which is this field the stuff we plowed up today our other silage field we've only gotten two thousand liters of rocks like huh usually you get way more than that but i mean 
beggars can be choosers, I guess. So it is what it is. You know, I'd like to use it for mineral feed, but we don't have enough rocks coming in to do that, unfortunately. Oh, well, we'll just uh, keep keep on buying it, I guess. But now that we are done picking up stones, we're going to go get some lime. We may have to buy some, but uh, we're going to get some lime and get some lime spread on this field uh, after I rebuy uh, soil samples. Are there any rocks in that spot? Nope. Okay, good. Um, then we're going to come out here get some lime spread and get to work because we got we got a lot of work ahead of us okay filling up the manure spreader with lime it's gonna take a while because uh may not look like it but this truck holds a lot of lime so while that goes on i'm gonna go have me some coffee Look at the weather. Get the uh, old uh, T9 pulled out. Get her hooked up. Ready to go. And should be done filling up by the time we get all that done. Well, didn't take too terribly long to fill it up. But uh, even with this nice big spreading width in high capacity it's gonna take us a little bit to uh get through all these fields oh crap i almost forgot something uh uh purchase soil there we go and just like i thought we have a little bit of uh actually it's mainly what is that again loam in this spot so that's gonna be nice that's gonna be a nice bump in our yield i i'm i'm gonna be really happy about that come harvest time wow i can really tell that i forgot to put down lime before we planted the soybeans mm. yeah <laughs> we are flying through this lime holy cow we may have to uh, buy some more, but we're not gonna do that until uh, we know for sure. Cause I bought a little bit more than what this truck can hold. So hopefully we'll luck out. Well, just like we thought, we ran out, but I think I'm only gonna put in roughly 20,000 liters of lime. Cause I don't, I don't think we're gonna need more than that. Now I'm, I'm probably wrong, but here's to hoping. <laughs> wow, I actually stopped that at twenty thousand and one liters. Um, that, that's a rarity. Would you look at that? Just like normal. You try and guess right, and you end up just a touch short. Oh, well, we'll go throw in 100 liters of lime and get that all finished off and get on to planting. Lime's been spread. Figure uh, we'll start with the uh, more difficult fields. Is, uh, yeah, these little fields aren't going to be very fun to plant, but should be able to knock them out pretty quick if everything goes all right which i'm the best driver in farm sim we know it'll go perfectly fine right you know i may have to look into buying a slightly smaller um cedar so that way we can use that to run the headlands because this has been painful. Oh dear lord. Yeah, we're we're definitely gonna look into buying a slightly smaller 
planter just to uh, run our headlands. <sighs> you know, I've been thinking. We still have like three million liters of silage. We might be able to get away with planting that new field of ours um, in oats and soybeans this year. Maybe. We might be able to get away with it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because it's lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. So I think we're going to call it a day. Make sure you leave a comment down in the comments. Should we plant the new field? Well, the field we bought a while back, I should say. Great big field. Should we plant that in oats and soybeans this year and not run corn on it? I mean, I've already spread some manure on it. So, I mean, we're not going to get a perfect yield, but we'll still be getting a bunch of extra oats and soybeans. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But other than that, guys, I'm going to finish this last strip and we are going to call it a day. So if you guys like today's video, feel free to smash that thumbs up. You know, if you're new around here and you made it this far. Truth is, you most likely are going to like my content. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, too, if you haven't already. And with that. I will see you all later.